This is the Sony Alpha Series 100 SLR. Today we're going to show you how to modify a battery pack for the A200, 300, or 350 series to work with the A100. First, you'll need to purchase a multi-power battery pack for the Sony A200, A300, or A350 series. And these are readily available on Amazon or eBay ranging roughly between $25 to $35. And a remote switch that is compatible with the Sony A100. These are also readily available between $3 to $7 on Amazon or eBay. Tools that you will need to accomplish this modification. Safety glasses, solder, soldering iron, wire tie, a jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver, and wire strippers. You will need a drill with the drill bit approximately the same size as the cord for the remote switch. First thing we will need to do is figure out the three wire connectivity of the switch. Open the switch by removing the two screws on the back that hold the housing together. There are two steps that happen when firing the camera. With the first contact it engages the focus. On the second contact it will fire the trigger. In this case, red is common, white is focus, yellow is fire. We will need to start by removing the three screws along the top, here, here, and here, and the four along the bottom, here, 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 and here. Once those screws are removed, you will need to open the battery door and carefully pry apart the back half of the housing. But be careful when you do this because there are ribbon cables attached to the power switches so you don't want to pull it too far away. Once the halves are apart the best place to drill the hole is about here. Next, with the remote cord, cut about 12 to 13 inches from the connector to the end. Strip back about 5 inches of insulation from the end of the cord where it was cut. After stripping the initial insulation, there will be some string on the end. This can be, this can be cut. Next, feed the stripped wire through the hole you just drilled. Now after you do that, you want to attach your wire tie to create a strain relief. This will keep the wire from getting pulled out of the uh, body of the housing and then trim off the excess. Before reassembling this half you're now going to remove the three screws along the top of the front half and the three along the bottom and then carefully separate the front half. Though I have already done it here, I removed the ribbon cable that was leading from the switch to the circuit board. You could just basically trim that off and cut it and get rid of it. And you're going to run you're in, and you're going to remove three screws, one, two, three, holding the micro switch together. Now I'm not going to uh, repeat this, but you're going to see it on this diagram here. This is what's left of the uh, the, the ribbon cable, and there will be a couple of holes lined up here. So with the switch facing you, you're going to put the yellow. You're going to solder the yellow the white and the red to the micro switch. Okay, and then you're going to reassemble the switch. 
Now keep in mind you don't want to over tighten these because these actually this this switch actually moves around a little bit when you're when you're using the fire button. Carefully reassemble the halves and and reinstall the screws on the top and the bottom. Now when reassembling the bottom half of the grip, be careful not to over tighten the screws because if you do, they will dig into the battery compartment resulting in uh, the battery pack dragging instead of ejecting out uh, easily. Also what I like to do is put, wrap a wire tie around the uh, end so that when you do attach the uh, back of the plug to the camera, it, uh, it actually creates a nice insul installation. The battery pack was originally fitted to accept the smaller Sony batteries. What I did was I ground down the tab that allows you to now put the larger batteries in there, which gives you more shooting capacity. Using the original instructions from the grip, it will instruct you to remove the battery door from your camera and put it in its temporary holding space in the uh, grip. With the grip attached to the camera, as per the instructions, you simply plug the cord into the remote socket, and this will allow you to fire the camera from both the top and as well as the, your newly acquired grip. Now the controls on the side here pretty much are useless. They don't really serve much of a purpose. You're going to basically extend the battery life of the camera from the two packs that are inside, and then fire it with the, uh, with the uh, vertical trigger. Let's try this. And it 